Hey, how's it going, guys? Matt Knife Junkie 13. I'm back. I got home yesterday. Took like a chill day. Um, I don't have everything I got from vacation, but this is just going to be a little preview of majority of the stuff. A bunch of it's at my girl's house. Um, the rest is here. So, let me start pulling things down so you can see them. Had a really great trip, by the way, guys. Grandparents were just ecstatic to see us as, as well as I was. Um, really, really happy. Uh, they're doing really well. My grandfather looks great, um, other than you know being tired, of course, and and just not so much out of it. My grandma was sick. I don't know if I brought that up. Um, I think, personally, it was from all the stress with everything going on with him. She just one day couldn't get up she fell down and just couldn't stand up she just couldn't get her body to work so um, she's doing really good now she's a little out of it um, but they're also giving her like pain medication and stuff so I think that's what's doing is she's like kind of zonked out um, not the the uh, whip snap kind of lady I'm used to you know with the quick comebacks and, and whatnot she still has it but not <laughs> not as uh, I want to say like it's, it's hard to explain, not as, like, crisp as she used to be, like, you say something stupid or funny to her, and, you know, instead of, like, coming with, like, some crazy-ass thing, she's also be like, oh, fuck you, you know, she, she don't care, she's funny as shit, but, um, alright, so, uh, enough of me blabbing, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, man, I didn't, I didn't realize I had this much stuff here from vacation, alright, <laughs> so, down there, I always go to the flea market, um, they have, Joe's found some great deals, um, a lot of people don't know what they have, so I kind of get lucky that way, um, and I, we go to, um, a lot of antique stores, and, um, what's the other place, I go, oh, I go to Mitchell's, this is my favorite place to go, Mitchell's Hardware, this guy has everything, uh, the guy Greg there, if you guys go, he's an extremely nice guy, all of them are real nice, but he will help you with anything. He told me, you know, you should move down here and work for me on uh, the weekends. I told him, if, if I move down there, I'll work for you full time. <laughs> but, real cool dude. Very, very nice. Um, helped me find everything I needed. So, I think, I think I have everything big that's like, you know, going to be out here. So, while we were at the different uh, flea markets and whatnot. Just got a bunch of files, like dollar, two dollar, bundled them all together. Nice little handle. I may just fix that handle up. It's got a crack, but that rubber or um, metal band around keeps it in. But these are for knife blades. Because I really want to get back into making some knives. Um, some really cool sights. Got this at an antique shop. I got this one. I saw this, I really like this one, uh, the handle's real loose though, Ooh, it's pinned at the bottom, so I'm going to have to figure something out about that, I may just chop it and repaint it, but this one was there last year for $25, this year it was marked down to 12 and the lady's like half off, 6 bucks. so I'm really happy with it, it's really nice, um, cool wall hanger piece, my grandfather gave me, because he, you know, he knows I'm into the axe handles and whatnot really nice Nicholson rasp they don't make them like this anymore this thing is so sharp and destroys wood so I'm really happy about that got this over at Mitchell's Hardware I have the flat one but I've never seen the round kind it's like a cheese grater for wood but that's that's gonna come in real handy another find that I'm extremely happy about um, I've been looking for one of these eBay a lot, but they're so overpriced. These guys, uh, you know, mark the price up a lot. A small draw knife. So this is going to get restored. I'm going to fix the handles up, and it works like a dream. Um, decent edge on it. I put a little bit more just to sharpen it up. Then, uh, at, mm, yeah, okay, the rest, I think, oh, I got this down at Walmart. I just, I've been looking for this powder blast stuff break free gun cleaner for like my airsoft guns and, and this works pretty good on knives not great but it works good um, 
Also, at Mitchell's Hardware, I got a bunch of these different key rings. Two different sizes, inch and something else. I think uh, three quarters. I got brass and stainless, so that's real cool. I'm excited about these. They were so cheap. This guy's prices are so good. Um, got a little Norton stone with a handle on it. So this is great for your, for your axes and whatnot. If you see these, pick them up. Uh, it's not super coarse and it's not super fine. It works really well. I really like this stone. I uh, got a new old hickory pick because mine for leather making has been sharpened so many times that it is that's what it's supposed to look like <laughs> so that's that got a old hickory another one because as you know I made a drop point out of my other my old one which I can't find and I'm kinda pissed about it it's it's in this mess somewhere so uh, gotta just sharpen this up because you know how old hickory's come flat tips you know like so yeah, sharpen this one up real nice. I'm going to probably shape the handle a little bit, but I want to keep it more original since I already have a modified one. Uh, just made a little cardboard sheath while I was down there. Then, I have a magnet. Can you guys see that? Okay. Look right there. You see the garden shears, and you see that little, like, kind of like hex bolt thing. It's that flat piece of metal. There's a, underneath that belt, there's a, a magnet I bought. It said 100 pounds, but it's the weakest magnet I've ever used in my entire life. And uh, this has little protectors. This is a 100 pound magnet that would be great for sharpening knives. Hold it, you don't have to worry about your hands, dunk it, you're good to go. Because uh, that magnet just sucks. So this was a great find. Um, I'll show you how strong it is in a second when I show you. Mr. Jack Stryker, you're going to enjoy this one, buddy. Guy had Tramontinas there. Oh, that old hickory was like 10 bucks. Yeah, 10 bucks, exactly. And no shipping or nothing. Uh, you know these Tramontinas, they come with like a flat edge and a workable edge, I guess. So, I really like this. You guys saw my bolo already that I got. I think you saw it. I don't know if I posted that video, actually. If I didn't, I'm really sorry. Um, I gun blued it, mirror edge, this thing's a beast, thanks to Jack Stryker, I had to get him, and this Tramontina, and then I had got another one for my grandfather, but he has an old hickory, like my old hickory, he has an old hickory already, like mine, uh, I didn't shape the handle, he likes it how it is, um, and he has just another beater machete, like a jungle machete, I asked him if he wanted one, he said no, um, I think he just didn't want to take it off my hand, so I was like, all right, I tried leaving it. He threw it in the car, <laughs> you know, that whole deal. So I have another one, but what I'm going to do is, let me know what you guys think. Boom. I think that'll look cool, right? I was going to do like a, a Warncliffe clip point type deal, but I realized it's like, that would be exactly the same as my old hickory. So I think I'm going to do this nice drop point, kind of, not a, yeah, more drop point than spear point. I think that'll look really nice. Uh... Let me know what you guys think. Um, the other one I'm going to keep how it is. Uh, man. I know I have so much more, guys. I just don't have it here. Um, keep checking. Oh, this is kind of random. This isn't really. I guess it's kind of for gear. I carry a water bottle all the time. But I had one of these freak whatever things keeps the condensation up these things are great if uh if you guys carry a nalgene bottle around i carry my nalgene bottle when this gets dirty and i swap um these stretch over anything water bottles uh big bottles nalgene bottles this go up to a two liter so they're real cool and i found a camo one how cool is that i've never seen the camo so they came out with new prints if you guys they're like 12 bucks but you know if you're tired of putting it on your desk and just having a puddle this fixes that problem oh okay so here let's show you the magnet real quick alright yeah so there is no way you're pulling this off without really wrenching it you have to slide this thing and even that is hard so you do like a twist this thing, I'm telling you, this is definitely 
Oh my god. It's definitely a hundred pounds. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll get that off later. I don't really want to. I don't want to cut myself either. There we go. So this is definitely a hundred pound one. Um, really happy with it. And you could change the bolt and whatnot if you want to make like a long handle on it. But I think this eye hook will be good because I can kind of wrap it in here and hold as I'm grinding. So that's pretty cool. Uh, when I came back, also I had a bunch of stuff from, you know, uh, the kind of clone place I buy from, but this one is just, I don't know if this is a real brand, if it is, I'm sorry, I didn't know, um, DDR, uh, this is a great valley, man, I'll tell you, super smooth, and the spring latch is great, um, it has G10 inlays, what? I mean, they're the thinnest G10 inlays I've ever seen in my life. You know, you can't really see in there. They're actually glued in, but they don't even fill up the whole channel. Um, but still, oh man, for 12 bucks or 10 bucks it was, really nice tanto, tanto, however you want to pronounce it. Really cool, and it came in this, oh man, it almost just sliced my hand up. It came in this really nice box, like a boker box. The guy gave me a sheath with it, a cheap benchmade sheath. Um, gave me a little aluminum whistle with it and then I got these I got two of them for the fake Microtex the tools for them so I'll let you know how that works out guys I also got a Microtech Balasong the uh, Metal Lark um, that is not with me I think it's inside when I was there I got a Balasong um, it, it's like a fake Bear Ops it doesn't say Bear Ops but it looks like them you know with the stag inserts and the steel Pretty nice for, for how cheap it was. It, the guy sold it to me for real cheap. And then we're talking, he, he knows I like knives. And I showed him my ZT uh, 0620, and he was, like, amazed. Um, he, there's this cheap knife stand in uh, the flea market, and I always go to him because he's got really good prices and whatnot. So he's like, I'm going to bring you, come on, come back here. I'm like, what the hell's going on? He's like, first he's telling me about cops that are after him and whatnot. It was, it was just crazy, so... Brings me to back into his little area. Brings me around the corner. I'm like, oh man, what's this guy gonna like steal my knife or something? You know, try to kill me. So I'm like on high alert. He like lifts up a bunch of stuff. He's reaching back, pulling stuff out. He pulls out this box like this big, and uh, he's like, "This is my uh, secret stash for the real collectors." And he had a shit ton of out the front clones, like combat truidons. Uh, you know the um, the other Microtech, uh, the, the Scallion or Scabbard or something, uh, Scarab, the Scarab, bunch of different ones, and he's like, for you, ten bucks. He had, on the box, he said like fifty dollars, but he knew I knew what I was talking about, I was like, oh, you got the clones, and he was like, yeah, the, yeah, 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 clones, because he was trying to play me out at first, and, uh, so I got like a ten dollar nice out the front, you know, works like a dream every time, uh, so I'll make a second video on the smaller stuff. I got an awesome deal on, on a bunch of really old Swiss Army knives. For the text, you saw those already. Thank you for all your help, man. Um, worked out real well. One of them's still a little stiff, but it, it's pretty good. It's not it's not too bad. It'll work itself in. Um, got a bunch of stuff and had a great time. Uh, my grandparents um, were real happy. I, I made a video. I got to go over it again. I'm not sure. Um if I got everything, but, like, with my grandma saying hi, she's, like, watering the plants and stuff, I was showing you their, their yard, um, so I think I'll post that up, too, uh, probably today, but if you guys have any questions, uh, about anything, or, you know, want me to do anything video-wise, let me know, uh, I really missed you guys, uh, I got on as much as I could at night to check out your guys' videos, a lot of you guys, I watched all your videos, but I didn't comment because I was going through them. I had like over 400 video. I mean, probably like 200, but in my watch later, other you know, on top of what I already had. So I had so many, and I killed it at the last day. I just watched all of them. Stayed up pretty much because we were leaving at four in the morning. Stayed up like till three. Took an hour nap. Went in the car and slept the rest. <laughs> you know, halfway home. But uh, so if I didn't comment.